What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and you're watching our college football channel. We continue with our schedule preview and projected record series. The Vanderbilt Commodores are up next. Before we get to the 2024 schedule, let's look back at 2023. Here is the schedule from last season for Vanderbilt, and you see Hawaii, Alabama, Wake Forest, and UNLV in the non-conference. Coming off the year they had, you thought, you know, maybe they could win it three of those four maybe even beat wake forest maybe even go four no in those non-conference games but they did not beat unlv and of course they didn't win any games in the sec uh they had it you know tough it wasn't a horrible schedule i guess compared to other teams in the sec again a pretty easy non-conference schedule they got to play auburn out of the west and then of course played Ole miss who wound up being really good but uh it's always going to be tough for vanderbilt they're always you know they're going to be at the bottom of the sec so every team they play in the conference pretty much at least most years is going to be better than them so this is the 2024 schedule as you break it down first look at the non-conference they play virginia tech at home could be a winnable game I, probably not you got alcorn state at georgia state and ball state so if you can win those three non-conference games not counting the virginia tech game that could get them to three wins which would be better than last season you look at the home schedule of the three non-conference games and then alabama texas south carolina and Tennessee you look at those and think maybe could, could they steal a conference win maybe South Carolina at home uh, that that would be the one for sure and then you look at the road schedule uh, there's a Georgia State again then at Missouri at Kentucky at Auburn at LSU of course gonna be very very tough for this Vanderbilt team to go on the road and win an SEC game the Georgia State game might even be tough Again, given the fact they lost on the road to UNLV last season. So they start with Virginia Tech on August 31st. That'll be a home game. And then on the 7th, it's Alcorn State. Then on the road to face Georgia State on September 14th. Then on back-to-back -back road games. They'll go on the road to play Missouri on the 21st. Then they get their first bye week. Uh, you get two weeks to prepare for Alabama at home. Maybe the Crimson Tide drop off more than we think. And maybe that game's interesting. Probably not. But you got that one on October 5th, then they go on the road to play Kentucky on the 12th, then Ball State at home on the 19th, and Texas at home on October 26th. Then they will play on the road at Auburn on November 2nd. South Carolina at home on the 9th. Again, if there's an SEC win that they might could get, I think it's probably that South Carolina game. They get a bye week after that game before playing on the road at LSU, and then they close things out with Tennessee at home. So again, you look at the schedule it's you know it's it's not if you compare this schedule you know if you gave this schedule to georgia you would say eh, that's not a very tough schedule that's not too bad but for vanderbilt again the schedule is always going to be tough for them and again overall this is not a horrible schedule um they do have to play texas but they don't play georgia they don't play ole miss this year which is interesting of course that kind of became a cross division rivalry um it's, it's going to be a different era in the sec that's for sure but Again, a schedule that that's not horrible, but for Vanderbilt, really any SEC schedule is going to be horrible. So again, it'll be very tough for them in 2024. As you can see, a very disappointing season, of course, for Vanderbilt last year, just two and ten. Our projection actually had them at five and seven. Remember, they were coming off of a pretty good 2022. Uh, if you look back to that season, they won a couple of SEC games, and again, our projections do play a lot off of how the teams played the year before what their record was the year before uh our prediction my prediction was three and nine for this team i did have them beating unlv they didn't even win that game uh athlon had them at four and eight the over under was at three and a half uh yeah it, it was a there weren't high expectations at all for vanderbilt but again our projection was a little bit higher than everyone else again uh, our projections are very conservative and uh that's kind of why you see vanderbilt up there at five and seven last year let's see what they offer this year again here's the schedule and this is the scale that we use if it's under 20 or over 80 those are games that are pretty much guaranteed wins or losses 20 to 29 71 to 80 games where the spread should be double digits 30 to 39 61 to 70 games where i think spreads closer to a touchdown uh games that teams will there'll be a favorite but they could uh, could easily lose and then your 50 50 games 46 percent those games will be in the white so for vanderbilt you've got one easy win on the schedule i think that's alcorn state and i think that's the only you know kind of guaranteed win we can give vanderbilt i think georgia state especially playing on the road and ball state those are more like games in that 75 percent range 71 to 80 percent range where vanderbilt should win but they lost to UNLV last year, and this is Vanderbilt's not very good. So they could lose either one of these games. But if they take care of business, that's three wins right there. So they've already passed last season's total 
if again they take care of business in these three games all right let's go to the other side of this games where they'll be underdogs i think you've got kentucky auburn and tennessee i think they will be pretty big underdogs in all three of these games double digits uh, maybe even more than that honestly and again that's where the the tier system comes into play here my personal opinion uh, I, I don't think that they have a 20 to 29 percent chance to really win any of these games uh, maybe a 20 percent chance so it, it, they might be in this range but again it is it does go with our tier system and the formula that i use for these projections uh, not my personal picks again i don't see vanderbilt winning any of these games but they are, again, based off of this formula we use, they are games that wind up here in the orange. And then uh, four games in the red, Missouri, Alabama, Texas, LSU. Really no chance of Vanderbilt winning any of these games. I think everyone pretty much agree with that. Now that's going to leave Virginia Tech and South Carolina. Then again, this is where my personal thoughts and predictions don't play into this because if I was... Uh, doing this, I, you know, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think Vanderbilt's going to beat Virginia Tech, and I don't think they're going to beat South Carolina. And I think these games should probably be more like in the yellow. But uh, these teams are just one tier above Vanderbilt, and Vanderbilt does have home field advantage. That's why they wind up in, in the 50-50 range. Uh, Virginia Tech might actually wind up being two tiers above Vanderbilt. We'll see what they look like next year, but I think there's a lot of potential for that team. A lot of people are uh, pretty high on the Hokies. South Carolina, maybe not so much. Uh, if they're going to get an SEC win, it's got to be that game against South Carolina. I mean, that's really their only opportunity. If they were able to beat Virginia Tech, though, and they find a way to beat South Carolina, and they win the three games that they're favored in, I mean, could they pull off an upset somewhere on this schedule and get to 6-6? Six and six? I don't really see that happening. I don't really see 5-7 and seven happening. But the projection is 4-8. and eight. So that's where they're projected to finish. Again, you could say they could win these three games where they're favored and then split Virginia Tech, South Carolina. That's how you could get to 4-8. and eight. I think it'll be tough for them to get to 4-8. and eight. I do think they have a good chance to, to win these non-conference games to get to 3-9. and nine. But 4-8, uh, and eight, you know, that's definitely possible. 5-7, uh, and seven I think, is possible. I don't think they can really do much better than that, though. But 4-8, uh, and eight, again, that's the projection with our formula. Do you guys agree? Do you disagree? Give me your thoughts on Vanderbilt and your projections down in the comments below.